Today I'm going to show you how to create frame split transition. It's one of my favorite transitions to add in basically any type of video. Let's start right away. I have two videos in the timeline. So the first thing that I'm going to do is duplicate the second video, go at the first frame, right click on it and go to add frame hold. Now I think that I want to split this whole frame in five parts. So to do that, I'm going to create a mask around this half of the frame and decrease the feather to zero. Then I'm going to duplicate a frame, delete the mask from the previous one and create a new one on opposite side of the frame. Duplicate it two more times and create a mask around the top and bottom parts. And I'll just go back to the first two frames real quick and extend the mask like this. Okay, the worst part of this tutorial is done. I'm not a big fan of masking or rotoscoping, but for some transitions and effects like this one, it's so worth it. Now I'm going to nest each frame separately and the first effect that I'm going to apply is transform. I'm applying it on the first frame, then I'll go 5 frames to the right and give frame position and scale as it is, then go back to the start, scale it up and move the position to the left until it's out of the screen. Then change the shadow angle to 180. Now I'll do the same for the other side, only change the position so it's coming from the right. Ok, let's move 5 frames and drag the bottom part of the scene, apply transform and this time drag the position down. Moving 5 frames again and dragging the door one, then move 3 frames and drag the subject. And I'll do the same for the subject and the door part, so I'll just drag the position down. Usually I would drag the position up, but for this specific scene it makes more sense for me if it's coming from the bottom part of the screen. Now I'll trim them and apply brightness to contrast on the first one, move 1 frame, increase the brightness to 100, then move 5 frames and reset it to 0. Copy the effect and paste it on the rest. Then I am applying lens distortion, move 1 frame and change it to minus 100, move 5 frames and reset it to 0. And the last effect that I am going to apply is blur, once again move 1 frame, increase it to 50, then 5 frames and set it back to 0. And I'll just copy these two effects and paste them on the rest. So it's done, that's the tutorial. Now if you're like me and you like investing in your skills and your work in general, you should check out my editing pack, Picture Collage Effects. It's a set of 12 templates, 6 horizontal and 6 vertical. It comes in both short and longer versions. Both 4K and HD resolutions are included in the pack. It's fully customizable from images, film frames, tapes, textures and sound design. It's a simple drag and drop and it's so easy to use. And it works with Premiere Pro and After Effects 2020. 21 plus versions. If you want to get picture collage effects, I'll have it linked down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and put notifications on. I post this type of tutorials every week. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.